Hello and welcome to yet another part of uh, the so-called Gamaron fitness. Today I want to concentrate on swinging, swinging of in the joints, just the classical gymnastics. So uh, because this program of mine is a series of uh, modules that uh, have as a main heading longevity so to make uh, the place clear this is after I have been running for an hour or almost an hour quite fast and uh, there is a dog it's hello <laughs> okay I've been running for um, an hour almost and then I have uh, jumped into the cold water and cooled my organism. Okay, after it has been heated up up to almost 41 degrees centigrade inside the tissues, and I have aroused kind of flaming power, a kind of heroic power, which is uh, after cooling it down, it's. Um, situation in which you feel you know you could like lift mountains and this is the life energy steaming in you rushing in you and then you have to somehow in my opinion in my Gamaron conception you have to put a symmetry harmony control kind of specific elasticity and so I begin after that. I come out of water, I wash and uh, dress and dry. I begin with this, concentrating on simple movement and swinging and trying to, I with my mind, inside the joint here. Try to swing. Okay, the other side. Make it faster for you. So, and swinging elbows. Changing your head. And wrist. And then naturally hips, all the joints should be freed from tension, like the knee, and kick it away, and the hip, okay, shorter, okay, the other side, Circling the hip and the spine and down put the arms swinging here. This way, and swing in that way. Over your head. Okay, and shaking. Swinging. Swinging your spine this way. Circling. Circle with your hips. Uh, swinging upper part of the spine. Okay. So.
So you feel a kind of, and I should describe it, after you come up uh, out of the water after an hour of running and blood is boiling hot, yeah, and then you cool down and you stand there and then you feel like, you know, what am I, what am I going to jump on? Where I'm going to climb? I'm going to fly or whatever. So uh, I think that in my concept of uh, arousal of energy, this is young. Now follows the yin, the kind of smoothing and giving a gestalt to this aroused energy. And the first part of it is spreading it through the whole body. This can be done by swinging, like swinging of all the joints. It can be done also by tipping the whole body. Okay. And then after the energy has been spread, then I make the concrete Qigong size. The specific element of the gamaron of my own Qigong, in this case, it's, it is always outside. You see how wonderful this uh, place is. Yeah? There is a lake you know, with a vast body of water. There are these mighty trees with very, you know, beautiful curves in their branches and wonderful canopies of leaves and the sand and the whispering of the waves yeah, the whispering of the waves, the little waves and then the fresh air of autumn yeah. this time again year after year as you get older and older you perfect your Size. And this means that when I stretch my hand in all of these exercises, well, I don't bother you with yet by showing here, excuse me, 15 minutes of Qigong, huh? that you can imitate, like, you know, this is and that and this and that. It would be a mechanic. It's also important for the beginning, but the essence of it is just when I stretch my hand. And do the... Any exercise, any simple, slow stretching and breathing. So, while I breathe in, I breathe in also into the lungs and at the same time I breathe in here, inside of my fingers, palms inside of my hand, going here into the lymphatic node, and going through the body, coming to the top of the head, at the end of the breathing end. So this is it. And then I breathe out, and it goes down here, alongside the alongside the neck, over the shoulder, shoulder blade, here, over the muscles here, delta, triceps, uh, okay, over arm, lower arm, okay, fingers, and into the hand, it goes out. Yeah. And now again, I breathe in, I get the sand, I get the water, I get the air, I get the trees, I get the sky, I get even the sun if it would be there and absorb this energy here and then I spread it down into my body.
Okay, welcome today to the, thick, uh, to the third part, third part of my Gamaron Elementary Qigong exercise. Again, the battery has gone, so I have to take an, another one. And as I was telling you, the morphogenetic field of the soul is spreading far, far beyond the physical expansion of your body and of your arms. So that if you stretch your arm like that and you breathe in, you can actually go through the leg. Maybe if you are in a very good condition and you will discover through the decades, through those many years you are doing your exercise, that there are differences uh, uh, and the moon cycle, for example. Okay, so if you are a very good shape yeah, and your body is open and your soul is open, then you can stretch so far away that you feel it is impossible that you are touching the sky and go to the, to the other shore and you see the mountains, there wouldn't be the fog on the other side. Okay, so this is it as you exercise the magic elementary qigong what is important so that you do not uh, break your body like this old bench has been broken by time because it did not probably exercise qigong at all what is important is that you have this the knowledge of arousal and conservation of energy as I've told you I've been running for an hour before or doing some strong fitness exercise and then I have aroused the energy I have jumped into the cold lane and then I have somehow I've drawn the energy together by the cold water and then I have I have opened all the joints by swinging okay and then I have started to exercise this Qigong but at the same time, I see the lines that are as if I was immersed in a kind of ether. Now, they have found out about the Higgs bosons. Now, it's in Switzerland, it's over there by CERN. Yeah? Okay, they have this great circle when they push the atoms to madness and they collide the protons and the neutrinos, whatever, and then they, they have found out after all that the old ether, that there must be something which is spread through all the universe, and this they call it the Higgs field, or composed from Higgs bosons. Okay. There is also this dark matter, which keeps our galaxy from uh, flowing apart. And it's 85% uh, of uh, the matter in this galaxy is not the visible matter. So you can talk it all around, but the old concept of chi, of life energy, of prana, of something, energy which is not to be detected, is there all around you. You are immersed in this field. And so as I do these spontaneous Qigong exercises, I feel my hands as if they were much, much longer, I have to say sometimes maybe 5 meters, sometimes it can have 10, 1500, sometimes it can reach to the sky and it can kind of shape, model the space you know, and it can somehow collect and push around the body like like sometimes I feel I can some shape a field of protecting 
warm, golden, phosphorescating energy around my body while doing this Qigong. So, now this is the result of some 30 years of exercise. And I can tell you, that's why I'm interested in longevity, that um, I feel that the energy is being raised to such a level when you do this program regularly that actually no cells can um, die or better say those cells that die because there are millions of cells that die in my body every day in your body also uh, are those that are old or degenerated somehow used up so they are being selected and pushed away by this program arousal of energy maximum energy cooling down a great shock you know, which cleans you cleans the plate and then trying to harmonize okay so that the new cells that that you know somehow immersed in this chi field and taken from outside of nature also okay so that your organism is actually renewed by every sequence so. that is after all very simple you don't need much for this you need only time you need a kind of aesthetic artistic approach to your body because you don't want to use it as a machine for some you know fighting or running to win a little bit yeah, like that yeah, to be faster than the other guy or by just this little you want to have your body around your soul for a very very long time because after all what do we know the human race is is the whole if it would be 100,000 years at the maximum and about 15,000 years of the so-called history and compared with those hundreds and hundreds of millions of years of our mother Gaia and all the atoms all the atoms that are here that are there that are here everywhere have been created in exploding stars in our galaxy and are being recycled billions of years so there are great secrets as far as the physis, physical part of your body is concerned as far as the soul is concerned and its relationship to Mother Gaia because we are after all we are flowers we are parts of Mother Gaia's body we move we perceive and uh, what is our advantage when compared with those scientists who let the neutrinos collide and look at these screens and then they postulate there must be something and the, which the mathematical theory has has shown that if there is not some other quantity we shall not get the equation so there must be something and then they shall find it okay um, we have the immediate felt present experience which is the philosopher says it is, is evidence you can't doubt the evidence you know? and uh, if you think that uh, as up to now no one no neuroscientist a surgeon or a Cybernetic scientist, no computer specialist, no neurosurgeon has ever found a content of your brain. As you can cut brain into atoms, and you will find only atoms, some energy, electrical current.
So, in my vision, in my past experience of Qigong, as I exercise it year by year, season by season, clouds by clouds, rain, storm, sun, heat, rivers, lakes, islands, whatever, mountains, I feel in touch with those elements. Né? And uh, maybe, you know, <laughs> this is it. And nothing more. You are going to be, you know, filled with energy of life day by day. And you will live to a very old age, a high age, in a kind of healthy condition. You will see more and more of Mother Nature because you can then travel and you are not dependent on external help. And then you will find your own way. You will compare all those various gurus and shamans and philosophers and farmers above all. You will see them after 20 or 30 years of uh, practicing their yoga, whatever it is. If it is a yoga of a farmer who is working with his animals and on his field and with elementary forces, well then, what does it make out of him in 30 years? Oh, it's wonderful. And one lonely, one lonely sail is coming. Let us look at it closer. You see it there? It must be coming against the wind from the east. Well, so I say goodbye to you with this lonely sail as a symbol of the lonely Qigong practitioner who will get all his reward in the present felt moment of experience and he will not think very much about any telos, about any what does it all lead up to uh, because you know it will uh, it will not interest him very much because day by day, cloud by cloud, wave by wave he, he is you know getting the light energy from the elements in his body and this is it. This is the passion. This is the lust of living. This is the cosmological eros, I would say, of Ludwig Klages, who makes it possible that perception, perception itself, okay, well, the ship changed direction so that you can see it better. Big perspective. Because I like these clouds. This has been shaped here by the waves, and I was using it in my job. This cosmo the cosmogenic eros, also this, the eros, which is created permanently uh, in your soul, while your soul is touching uh, the clouds and the waves and the wind by perception. Yeah. Perception itself is the, the, the secret of Vieros Gamos, this uh, great um, union of uh, the individual soul with the great Mother Gaia soul. This is it. Yes. And so if you can experience this in the third moment of present experience as erotic in the sense that it is, you know, filling you with with passion and with all the able or the erhaben in German, the sublime yes. and it is giving to your body the physiological power energy for the cells so far uh, what that could be more to ask for if you can live this for a hundred years you will not have enough of it because yesterday I saw uh, Esa film from the space, uh, showing the planet from the space, and I have seen how many powerful places there are which I have not yet seen, where I have not yet exercised. Okay, so with this, uh, this 
closing series of Chibong from today. Today I say, go on on your own way. And if you so desire, I can accompany you on your way to Santa.